yesterday we have discussed our list yesterday our list class is uh, started right the discussion one second yeah let's take off uh, our list example so this is our example which we have discussed in the last uh, batch let me check where we are right now okay so yesterday we have discussed uh, let me share my document also go back yeah yesterday we have seen until iterator i think right until iterator method we have tested right let me is it collections yeah let's see this yes i think we are seeing this one yesterday right um yeah we were where we are yes so we are discussing yesterday until iterator method so what is the use of iterator it is uh, the main purpose of iterator is to iterate the collection data okay to iterate the collection data we can use of uh, iterator okay or we can use of uh, for each loop also we can use okay so that we'll see one second again someone is in the lobby yeah now so after for each what are the methods let's go and check it okay let's go and uh, two array right there is a method uh, two array is there now how how to convert the how to convert the r list to array r list object to array how to convert that in okay now let's see that. now what we can do is like First, to, to convert of R list to array means we need to know of the array size. Correct or not? So, what type of data is there in our class? In our R list, it is of string type is there. So, let's create of <coughs> let's create of one string array. Okay, S T R. Here array. S T R array equal to new string of new. We are converting our R list into array, right? Into string of size. So, what is the size? AL, right? AL dot size. AL dot size. <coughs> I'm creating one array object. I'm creating an array object with the size R list size. Okay? The size is compulsory required for array, right? So, now we need to call al dot to array al dot to array of to where we need to store all this data means to array of pass things <coughs> sorry string array object now all the data whatever that is there in the array list will be moved to array object string array object if you want we can iterate of array object just use of for each okay use of for each name okay it is array that array i am iterating by using of for each system dot out dot print ln name is okay name now let's see that is of sometimes if you want to convert of yeah array name let's say name in array okay name in array is uh, yes name in array is all data is uh, iterated okay if you want to convert uh, array list to array we have a method called uh, to array okay now let's say if i want to get up a sub list okay so we have some data is there inside this okay now if i want to know i want to get up a sub list let's say one two three four five six is there right now i want to get off only these three data only three data now let's if you want to get up sub list or child list then in that case we have a method called we have a method called l dot sub list l dot sub list so it is showing off from from index and to index from where to where you want to create a separate sub list again okay let's say give off a two to four or two to five whatever that is there store the data whatever the data sublet it is creating store that in some object 
okay sub list okay now print this one sub list system dot out dot print l enough for sub list is <coughs> sorry sub list is now printed so sub list is uh, two to four so one thing it is why it is uh, two to four means two three four right uh, normally it will exclude of uh, two index it will exclude of uh, two index zero one two three four last index means uh, two index will be excluded okay let's say for example two to four right zero one two it started two three up to four i am expecting right but it is of a last index so it is of two index the two index will be ignored while getting up sub list two two index will be ignored okay that's what this one fourth index it is a it is a from from where it is starting okay it is it is a starting index and ending index ending index last index is the right two three four the fourth one it will be ignored let's say if i'm giving five the fifth element it will be ignored let's say the end index will be ignored see two three four is coming fifth one is ignoring that means two index two index means see this one from index and two index so from where to where you want the sub list it is of two just assume it is two it is a five this two index value last value right five that fifth index value it will ignore up to four only you will get in the sub list is it clear yeah next next so if i want to reverse off if i want to reverse there is a method called reverse also is there i think okay there is a method reverse method also is there i am thinking let's uh, try if it is there al dot <coughs> reverse remove only is there so if you want to okay not from here maybe col collections cti cti on collections dot reverse collections what is that i think there is a method called collections yes collections dot reverse the c there is a method called reverse okay if you want to reverse the if i want to reverse the r list data okay simply we can use of simply you can use of collections dot reverse method okay i told you collections is a utility class it has some utility methods for our implemented yeah, collection implemented classes okay so now system dot out dot print ln so if i am printing reverse reverse order of our list is al now see the data will be in the it will in the reverse order it will come see it is coming in the one is one second what happened where is the reverse order this one is reverse it's also reverse order <coughs> yes one second one second it is before reverse order okay just assume before reverse order okay before reverse order now let's run it the system dot order print only change it see before reverse order this is the order so after reverse order this is the one okay okay guys this is not the this is a utility method guys reverse is a utility method okay if you want to swap off two numbers if you want to swap off two numbers also we have a method now let's say system dot out dot print and swap swap two numbers two numbers now let's say now the list is 
in this order right now i want to change now i want to change raj place to different place and then i want to change of two number to two orders okay let's say zero one two <coughs> zero two raj i want first and bharat i want to two place second place then in that case we have a method called swap method in the collections okay collections dot uh, swap method yes swap method so it will take off our list let's take off this our list object inside this i want to change the position of 0 and 0 and 2 0 and to zero position is bharat is there second position is raj is there now i want to reverse them system dot out dot print ln of swap of two numbers age okay now let's say l let's print it it will change that order and it will keep in the same or list object so is it changed or not order see before it is Raj is in third place, now it is in first place. Bharat is before in first place, now it is in third place. I have changed the swap. Okay. I changed of two elements from one place to other places. Okay. Is it clear, guys, or not? Methods. Fine, right? Now, if you want to clear off all the collection data, we have a method. What is the method? AL dot clearing of all the elements in the list what is the method guys yes. clear method is there okay then print after this system not out that print ln after clearing after clearing let's see al now it will print off only empty <laughs> sorry empty or a object empty or object okay now <laughs> This is the one. Now, list object is not synchronized object. list object is not synchronized object. If you want to convert this object to synchronized object, okay, then there is a method called, then there is a method called AL, we have a collection method is there. Okay, method in the collections. It is a, like it is a collections, right? Now let's, up a little bit there is some unused method is there collections yes this is causing an issue <coughs> remove of this import it oh. so what i'm doing there is a method called synchronized list collection dot s y n synchronized synchronized list synchronized map synchronized set if you want to do it, r list vector sorry r list list set to map these are not synchronized versions if you want to get a synchronized version of a list or set or map so what is meant by synchronized means at a time only one thread can be accessed okay so in that case right now the R list can be accessed by any number of threads so, so i want to restrict that uh, scenario so in that case if you want to get a synchronized R list object then what you can do synchronized list of pass your R list object then it will then it will create one synchronized list of one synchronized R list object synchronized see synchronized R list object this is the one okay now like that if you want to create a synchronized set there is a method called synchronized set synchronized set synchronized map by default those are not synchronized if you want to convert to synchronized then we have a methods in the collections collections it will take class synchronized list synchronized set synchronized map okay now now let's go to documentation. I think that we have pending. Update evaluator specific index. That why you can, we can use by using of a set method is there. So there is a method to remove evaluator specific index. There is a method called remove of index. Let's say 
uh, al dot al dot remove of see remove of at particular index if you want to remove we can use of uh, this particular second index just assume just assume second index i want to remove then in that case uh, it will print off uh, it will print only by removing of what the second index value it is of uh, al after af after remove after removing second index okay al <coughs> now let's see the birth will be removed in the index see it is birth is removed okay if you want to specify either you can pass off index or you can pass off object whichever you want we can pass it okay and the clearing of this one to her clearing of the R list okay next synchronized R list by default it is not synchronized collection class defines the following methods to return the synchronized version of a list by default it is not synchronized if you want to convert convert our R list object to synchronized R list object then in that case this is the method that will be used synchronized list of the list of object that we are using that we can pass it it will convert that R list object into synchronized list it will convert one more object okay yes this is the example similarly we can get synchronized version of set and map objects using these methods if you want to convert <coughs> sorry <coughs> set into synchronized set then synchronized set <coughs> sorry synchronized set of set okay map also we have method synchronized map these are the options for converting synchronized set map and list next our list is the best choice if the frequent operation is retrieval if you want to get off the data if you want to search the data frequently then our list object is the best option our list is worst choice if the frequent operation is insertion or deletion in the middle because it uh, it's several requires several internal shift operations why if you want to remove of any it is a worst choice it is telling what is the worst choice insertion and deletion is it is not a good option in case of array list why means why means what it will do of it will insertion and deletion means now let's say in this question let's just assume of removal so i removed of a second <coughs> sorry second position right now if i'm removing of second position means what it will do internally again it will convert this three position to two four position to three like this it will convert this uh, index is all right it need to do some operation right uh, now third position is zero second position is deleted now second position will come up imran will come to second position priya will come to third position imran again will come to fourth position ashok will come to fifth position puja will come to sixth uh, seventh position like that all indexes will change it okay if we are removing it let's say if i'm inserting if i am inserting al dot l dot add off in the specific index add off in the specific index if i'm index adding of third position as ram just assume so already what is there in the third position zero one two three priya is there so whatever the positions after this one all these indexes will need to change third position i want to add ram and so whatever the third position already is there it needs to increase the index this will become four this will become five this will become six seven and eight all rest of the elements index need to change it that is one button right so in that case insertion and deletion is in that case our list is the worst choice okay for retrieval is best choice that's what the meaning of the last point okay the next one next one is vector okay next one is vector till now we have discussed array list right <coughs> till now we have discussed of array list object what is vector okay what is vector our list almost all are everything is almost like our list only now our list is of containing what is the data structure internal data structure of our list underlying internal it will use of resizable array or 
ಗ್ರೋಬುಲ್ ಅರೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಡೂಪ್ಲಿಕೇಟ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇಡ್ಸ್ ಅಲೌಡ್ ಇನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ರೀಸ್ ಪ್ರಿಸರ್ಡ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅಲೌಡ್ ನಲ್ ಇನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಪಾಸಿಬಲ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಆಪ್ಷನ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಲೈನ್ ಸ್ಟ್ರಕ್ಚರ್ ಡೂಪ್ಲಿಕೇಟ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ಹೈಡ್ರೋಜನ್ ಸಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ಸ್ ನಲ್ ಇನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ಆಲ್ ದೀಸ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಆರ್ ಎಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಓಕೆ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಇಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಇಂಪ್ಲಿಮೆಂಟಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಿರಿಲೈಜಬಲ್ ಕ್ಲೋನಬಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ರ್ಯಾಂಡಮ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ ಇಂಟರ್ಫೇಸ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ದ ಒನ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಇಸ್ ದೇರ್ ದ ಬೆಸ್ಟ್ ಚಾಯ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಆಪರೇಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ರಿಟ್ರೀವಲ್ ವೋಸ್ಟ್ ಚಾಯ್ಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಫ್ರೀಕ್ವೆಂಟ್ ಆಪರೇಷನ್ ಇನ್ಸರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡಿಲಿಷನ್ ಸೇಮ್ ಆಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಆರ್ ಎಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ಓಕೆ ನಾವು ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ರಾ ಥಿಂಗ್ ಈಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ದ ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದ ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಈಸ್ ಸಿಂಕರ್ನೈಸ್ಡ್ ಮೆಥನ್ ಸೊ ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಥ್ರೆಡ್ ಸೇಫ್ ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಆಬ್ಜೆಕ್ಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಥ್ರೆಡ್ ಸೇಫ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಮೆಥಡ್ಸ್ ಇನ್ ವೆಕ್ಟರ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿಂಕರ್ನೈಸ್ಡ್ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಸೊ ಅಟ್ ಎ ಟೈಮ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಒನ್ ಥ್ರೆಡ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ಆಕ್ಸೆಸ್ ದಾಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ಕೇಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಅರ್ಲಿಸ್ಟ್ ನನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಮೆಥಡ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿಂಕರ್ನೈಸ್ಡ್ ದಟ್ಸ್ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಡಿಫರೆನ್ಸ್ ಅಂಡ್ there are some other new methods that are added there are some new methods that are added in vector class there are some guys is it clear apart from this eighth point rest of all is common for our list and vector is it clear up to now first before moving to example and some extra methods maybe apart from this point eighth point every method present in vector is uh, synchronized methods apart from this rest all the points are common for our list and vector is it clear right now there are some extra methods that are there in our list okay sorry in vector specific to vector methods okay not for others so only for vector specific methods are uh, there are some methods is added let's see of them add element okay if you want to even add method is there and we can use of extra one more method add element method also we can utilize it either add or add element remove or remove element remove elements all <coughs> remove elements all at index so from that index all elements will be removed remove all elements it will clear everything in the vector object so element at the position so in case of our list we have get of index get of index it will give the value at that particular index but in case of vector we have a method called element at the position index and if you want to get a first element and last element so first element method is there last element method is there these are the vector specific methods that we need to remember okay now now let's go for a practical things let's go to practical things of vector <coughs> okay so let's let's go for vector demo let's go for a vector demo let's vector let's take a vector demo class let's i'll add of <coughs> one by one right instead of confusing i will add off one by one let's add a first this one notepad <coughs> okay now so vector method these methods is coming from add method is coming from collection interface this is the method from collection interface okay so collection vector is also vector is also implemented of let's come down it is of list list internal it will extend of collection collection is extending of iterable okay now all the methods all the methods that are available in collection interface is available to <coughs> is available to vector class also okay now i have added of add element that is known thing so vector specific method is add element even we can use of add element to add the to add the elements to add the data to the vector class vector object either we can use of add or add element both we can utilize it okay now 
let's uh, if you want to add of a specific index uh, uh, let's uh, we see we are dot uh, add of a specific index see add of a specific index of a list specific methods is there guys so there are some methods i told you at uh, list interface level methods uh, list uh, interface level methods uh, yeah, see, list interface defines the following methods. Uh, list interface. Uh, so that means that vector is also implementing list interface. So these methods are applicable for vector also. Okay, these methods are applicable for vector also. Now let's add off a specific index means uh, we can give off uh, some three. Come on, just to go add off. Uh, okay now so now in the third index uh, the rows will be added <coughs> okay printing is missing yes yes see so on third index zero one two third position raj is added okay after after adding at the third index okay now next go to so what are the specific methods of uh, this one let's come down yes add element remove element and uh, remove element at index okay now let's uh, remove element we see tr dot remove element remove element see so we have a method called remove element so that object will be let's say raz i want to remove it okay raz i want to remove it system dot order print enough removed element of raj from vector we see it here vector now let's print it <coughs> so after removing rows this is the one so like that if you want to get off first element and last element or there is a method called system dot out dot print ln of before that system dot out print ln uh, what is that Remove element at index. Remove VCTR dot remove element at index. So if you want to know at particular index, if you want to remove, then on that particular index, it will remove, guys. Okay? It on that particular index, it will remove it. CTR. The last one is so it is of second position 0, 1, 2. Kiran is deleted and the rest of the data is displaying okay so for removal for getting data there are different different methods that are added by the specific uh, classes list has its own set has their own like that there are some extra methods that is there that we need to remember okay next for getting of uh, first element and last element system dot out dot print ln of uh, okay vctr dot uh, first element there is a method right if you want to get a first element like that same way for getting of a lost element also lost element lost element okay last element <coughs> print it Raman puja is the last ones okay let's comment this part so the data is very less right now next uh, what are the next methods next go to <coughs> first element and uh, for getting a first element next is vector is empty or not so it is of last element for checking of is empty okay is empty method means that we know whether the uh, vector object is empty or not is empty okay Mm, we see here dot uh, is empty 
okay it is not uh, empty that we know is empty is common for all the collection implemented classes guys not only for this it is a common method okay now let's uh, after this just copy paste and then we will go through the code okay instead of uh, let's add it go above yes after this iterator so iterator also iterate that is coming from iterable iterator is coming from iterable so if you are calling vector dot iterator then it will return of iterator object iterator object that already we have discussed in the our list okay here also same it has a has dist method if the element is available in the vector object then it will return true then we can get that value we can get off that value okay now next let's run it it's causing of maybe one second guys one second maybe that uh, there are some differences there here you can verify that okay <clears throat> see what i am doing so from this uh, there is an option called to remove okay from the iterator while iterating if rom is identified okay then there is a method remove then there is a method called current the current value it will remove that value okay if the rom is identified in the vector see it is second one is coming as rom first one is identified let's see if i'm changing to raj if i'm changing to raj then while displaying that it will remove of that object see ram is there raj is deleted okay now there is a one more there is one more list iterator okay that is only for the list implemented classes not for all classes not for all so let's copy this one even by using this also we can iterate the data okay list iterator this is iterator by using list iterator it also having same has next and next method so along with this there are other methods is also available in this okay now let's so by using list iterator also we can iterate the data but this method is available only for list implemented classes only for lar list for vector for link list so for three classes only this list iterator method is available for set implemented classes this method is not available guys next okay what is the next part enumeration there is a enumeration one more part enumeration means uh, this is for legacy classes uh, collections is introduced in 1.2 version okay before 1.2 version co collection data there is some legacy collection classes uh, vector okay hash table there are some dictionary properties those are uh, legacy collection classes uh, legacy collection classes uh, for iterating of those data we can use of enumeration there is a method called if you are calling elements if you are calling elements then this method will return of enumeration of string object enumeration object but this is only for legacy classes guys vector is a legacy class what are the legacy classes okay legacy class are vector hash table properties dictionary okay these are these are legacy collection classes for those classes only this method is available this method is not available for array list if you want you can l dot elements is not available for not available for array list object but it is available for see so vector dot vector dot elements elements see this method is available for uh, only for collection sorry legacy collection classes vector is also one of the legacy collection class okay next so by using here the has next is there and next method here has more elements has 
this enum can this enumeration contains uh, more elements or not if it is there it will return of uh, true or false values guys so if it is values is there data in the inside that enumeration then insert by the next element we can get by using of uh, next element method in case of iterator only next method okay that's what the difference next come down cloning if i want to clone of uh, the same copy of uh, vector object if i want to clone of uh, same copy of vector object then you have a clone of clone method is available in vector okay let's say this is of uh, one vector object which we have added so if i want to clone vc vector dot clone it will return same copy of data again with a different object see cloned copy let's see both will contain of same data see cloned copy actually actual vector data and cloned vector data okay now next go to adding list to vector if you want to add of some other list to some other list to vector okay now let's say add off this one let's add off so i have added i have created one array list object i have created one array list object so i want to store up this list data into vector i have added a second bharat is added okay this is a list list means with array list object array list data so i want to add off this list to vector there is a method called add all this is common for all collection classes not only for this guys okay we can add of all after adding the list is this one next sub list this method is already we have discussed in the array list there is no change in that both are same functionalities okay after adding that this is the one okay next copy to array copy to array so we have a method called we have a method called in case of our list we have a method to array we have in our list we have a method to array but here there is a method called copy to copy into copy into so i created a fun array i have created a one string array so we are storing of all string type data right in a vector so i created one string array with size vector okay and i am converting all this vector data copy into copy array so now all the data of vector it is copied to this copy array that data we are iterating by using a for each loop the data this is the one <coughs> okay next if you want to remove element this is this already we have discussed if you want to remove element at the index this also on particular index it will the first index it value it will delete remove element all so remove it will delete of all the elements it will delete of all the elements this is a, this is also one and clear is also we have one method is there right even both methods are to clearing of vector elements both any anyone that can be used this is common for all and this is specific to the vector okay the methods these are common guys okay for every class there is no new methods the collection class collection will use of most of them are most of the class most of the methods are common very specific methods are very less less very less methods are specific to the specific implementation collection class okay so vector having some own its own specific methods okay like there very less methods are available but most of the methods are will be common for all collections okay next these are all we have removal removal and all we have discussed next from this time onwards i will uh, explain of only the specific methods of that class only guys okay otherwise it will take a lot of time now the third one is now the third one is link list now let's go to collection see 
under collection list is one list implemented class are are list and vector these two is completed now last one is link list this class is implemented by q also this class is implemented q also okay now let's go and check that class what exactly it is now link list linked list how exactly it is going to maintain the data what is the underlying data structure for the link list means it is going to use of double link list double link list there is a one more different uh, uh, data structure class uh, double link list okay so internally it will use of the data structure of uh, double link list to maintain the or to store the data in link list class okay now what is the when will go for link list okay if you want to insert the data or delete the data okay then link list is the best choice okay insertion and deletion is not good in case of vector and r list but insertion and deletion is very good in link list okay but retrieval is not good in case of link list guys okay and uh, uh, the same other uh, properties like duplicates or uh, duplicates it will be allowed and insertion order also the same <coughs> however the data that we are inserted in the same way only it will store the data okay and null insertion is possible it will implement soft serializable and clonable but not random access interface so frequent operation is retrieval means then link list is a not good choice okay because this is not implemented of a random access interface okay it is implementing of only serializable and clonable if you want we can take off a link list go to link list class say it is implementing of only clonable and serializable only but not a random access go to our list class then you can see of random access clonable and serializable but not random access in case of uh, link list okay in case of link list only clonable and serializable only it is implemented now let's go to the specific methods of uh, link list the specific methods of link list is add first add last if you want to add element in the first position okay by default the elements will be added the last right by default the elements will be added at the last if you are adding if you want to add the element in the first position then we can use of method add first or else let's take off example go to link list let's say if i am adding here all are five is added okay all five data is added now if i want if i am adding one more list dot add off add off if i am adding one more it is going to add in the last part last index right i don't want that if i want to add in the first index then we can let's say now let's see in the below this is our list yeah already there is some methods is added already okay now just assume this is the link list object i have added five data okay now in the array list also i have added add all method this already already we know that this add all method is to add of other collection in the this collection then list that add all of our list object then all this data will be added to added to link list object okay now after this okay now let's add first and add last method if i want to add of zero in the first position it is started in the one right i want to add zero if i'm adding without first means then lost it will add in the last right now let's i'm not out that print enough after adding first and last last elements zero and nine okay now print of this uh, list link list object okay, first is i'm adding zero and last time adding of uh, nine now let's see that go to go little bit up not here in the output 
see after adding first and last elements see the first position is 0 is added and in the last position 9 is added okay before that what is the how it is displaying until then before add first and add last add last methods <laughs> list right let's run it see before before add first and last to add last methods see one is started and nine is la eight is last now i'm adding zero is first and nine is last so by using of add first and add last method we can use that okay now get first to get off the first element and last element there is a method called get first and get last method see get what is the first element zero last element is nine first element is zero and last element is nine there is a method see add first and add last get first and get last okay next adding getting and removal okay all methods are there retrieving of elements now remove first and remove last is also there see so remove first and we'll see this one this is of known method get off specific index there is no new in this okay if i want to get up second index value then we'll get up that zero where is that zero one two it is going to print off second index value okay now after removal see it is removing guys so i am removing of first element what is the first element zero it is removed zero it is removed after that we can call off we can use of remove method also we can use of to remove the data the remove method also will consider first two data only it will remove that okay see the remove method also removed of first one okay remove last it is removed of nine element see the zero and first is removed the remaining elements are two to eight is there see remove after removing fifth occurrence five occurrence one second let's see remove of first occurrence now so what i am doing here here i am giving off remove of first occurrence of five value okay remove first occurrence remove of fifth occurrence let's see we'll have a method called any method remove first remove last is there remove five remove last occurrence. first occurrence is there remove last occurrence is also there so wherever it is their last position that index also it will remove by using remove all last occurrence if you want to delete a first occurrence then this is the one okay now sending order if you want to if you want to descending order if you want to iterate of the data by using of descending order okay it's for descending order let's print off the descending order okay now there is a method called list dot descending order it will return off the iterator data by descending it will give one iterator object from this we need to iterate the data by using of it dot has next and next now let's see descending order descend descend pc in order of names okay now let's see see descending order of see eight seven five six four three two okay it is of descending order okay <clears throat> next published is that is a known thing published is a known thing yeah there is no new methods guys these are the things that we have discussed right let's see sublist is that is already known one these are all six new methods is you already we have tested so the rest of things is common methods for all for call collection classes only these three six new methods are added and even remove first occurrence remove last occurrence descending order this is also we have tested okay
maybe this is also some new methods that is came okay inside link list maybe this is coming from q guys this may be coming from q maybe let's go and see of that q so control o remove first occurrence remove yeah see remove first occurrence remove last occurrence remove methods are coming from q interface these are coming from this is a implementing of a list interface as well as q also both but our list and vector is only only list interface only guys not q list interface only is implemented but list link list is implemented list as well as q these are clonable and serializable is that we know the already okay this is the extra thing that is added in this uh, link list implementation this is what the link list guys <coughs> now let's go to what is the next topic all methods that we have there is no new methods guys here apart from what we have discussed is it clear first is there any not clear then i'll repeat it in this one link list guys is it clear or not if not clear i'll repeat it can i assume it is clear okay now the next concept is next concept is what is that cursors okay next concept is cursors what is cursors now okay now what is cursors now to iterate of the collection data to iterate of collection data now we we are using of iterator list iterator and enumeration we will call them as cursors okay we will call them as cursors now to iterate of the our list object we are using iterator method it is going to return a iterator object if you can use of list iterator also is there okay that is only for list implemented class we will call that also as enumeration sorry that also called as a cursor so enumerate one more method is there elements method that is going to return of enumeration in vector we have seen right elements method is going to return of elements method is going to return what is that yes elements method is going to return of return of enumeration and list iterator is method is going to return of list iterator data iterator is going to return of iterator is going to return of iterator object we will call this iterator list iterator okay and enumeration these three will call it as a cursors these three will call it as a cursors guys okay but this is only for the legacy classes this is only for the list implemented classes iterator is for all classes iterator is for all collection implemented classes okay now let's go for one by one let's go for one by one what is enumeration first one what is enumeration okay the purpose of enumeration is what is the purpose guys to iterate the data or to get the elements to get the elements from the collection one by one to get the elements from so we can use enumeration to get objects one by one from legacy collection object only not for not for the collections which are under r list and r list and link list this is only for legacy collection classes only this method okay it has a we can create enumeration object by using of elements method see by using this method only we are getting of we got of that enumeration object see vector that elements method is going to return of enumeration okay now we dot elements it is going to return of enumeration object so enumeration interface defines following two methods also has more elements and has next so has more elements means uh, if this enumeration object contains data then this will return true and what is the data that we can get by using next element uh, this is going to return of the data that is going to that is available in enumeration object okay now let's we can take off one example also let's go to 
uh, enumeration demo class is there now let's go and check off enumeration demo yes now what i am doing here so i have added i created one vector object i have added of 10 data 1 to 0 to 10 <coughs> numbers is added in the vector object right now after that i am trying to iterate this data by using of enumeration okay how to get the enumeration object by calling of elements method vector dot v dot elements this will return enumeration object so now we can iterate this data by using of while loop okay using of while loop e dot has more elements if data is available in this object e then this will return true okay if that is there then what is the element that is there available that element will get here so that is a by default is a string we are converting into integer okay that value we are printing now let's run it it is of all data is iterated by using of enumeration okay what are the drawbacks of <clears throat> what are the drawbacks of enumeration okay so drawbacks of enumeration is this is applicable only for this method is applicable only for legacy collection classes legacy collection classes not for the classes of early stand for the new collection classes this is not applicable okay so and it is not a universal it is not a universal cursor we will not call it as a universal cursor guys okay and one more thing so by using of this one we can read the data we can read the data we can't perform of removal operation so here whatever the data that is there i can read it i can read it i can't do any other operations okay now let's go and see this here we can see only the we can iterate the data but we can't do any removals limitations of enumeration is we can apply enumeration concept only for legacy classes this enumeration is only for legacy classes but not for but not for the classes which implementing list set is there right for them this method is not applicable okay will and it is not a universal cursor it is a cursor but it is not a universal cursor now by using enumeration we can get only we can get only read access only read access means only we can read the data and we can't perform removal operation if i let's say assume if i want to delete off some elements in some position which is matched then that is not possible in case of enumeration okay now to overcome these limitations some people introduced iterator concept in 1.2 okay till 1.2 in 1.2 collection is introduced that time they introduced one concept called iterator concept to, to overcome this we can read and we can remove also by using iterator okay now let's go to iterator object iterator cursor now we'll see the one example also guys no worries okay now what is iterator okay we can use iterator to get objects one by one from any collection object it is of any collection object if you want to iterate if you want to get the data one by one we can use of iterator so how to get the iterator object by using a method called iterator method there is a method called on collection object collection dot iterator it will give off iterator object okay next we can apply iterator concept for any collection object and it is a universal cursor it is a universal cursor next while iterating while iterating the data by using iterator method we can do we can perform read and removal also okay we can read the data if any data is if you don't want we can delete also okay we can delete also now let's go and some methods of yeah this is of iterator method so inside this iterator there is a method called has next and next method that we know because already we are iterating we are seen while 
doing a iteration of R list and vector and link list. There is extra method that is remove. Remove method also we have seen in the iterator. In the vector iteration time, we have see inside this condition. If I want to delete a fight while iterating the data, while iterating the data by using iterator method. Okay. So not only for reading the data, this is of reading the data. If the value is matched, if any value is raw is matched, then delete that element. ITR dot remove that. Okay. This removal is we can do by using of iterator. Now let's go and see some example. Yeah. So instead of vector, I change it to R list. Okay. Now all 10 data is added. This is of printing the data. This is of instead before we are using before we are using vector dot elements and it will return of enumeration object. Now uh, this is of collection class R list dot iterator method. It will return of iterator object. So it has methods so has next, next and remove methods. Okay. Sorry. Has next method it will check whether the elements is available in the iterator object or not. If it is there, just uh, next element will return off that element. Okay. Now what I am doing, if uh, i percentage 2 means it is of even numbers. I want to print only even numbers and odd numbers I want to delete from, uh, odd numbers I want to delete from collection. Okay. Now let's see. So if that condition is satisfied, that values we are printing, the other values we are removing and then we can check off that R list object. So it is printing only even numbers. Odd numbers is deleted. Let's say if you want to delete of only yeah, even numbers delete, odd numbers print. Change the condition. That's it. It will print off only even numbers. It is of conditional base if you want to do of some removal anything from the iterator, then we can do by using <coughs> iterator cursor. Okay. Next. The third one is the third one is list iterator. So there is some extra things also available in list iterator. Okay. Now, what is that? Okay. Let's read off limitations of iterator. Okay. Limitations of enumeration is cleared by using of iterator. Limitations of iterator is cleared by using of list iterator. Okay. What are the limitations of iterator? Let's see. Both enumeration and iterator are single direction cursors only. Single direction means only forward direction. We can't reverse it. Okay. That we can always move forward direction only we can't move that uh, into backward directions uh, if you want to reverse the data that is not possible in case of iterator that is one drawback and one limitation while iterating while iterating by using iterator we can perform only read and removal so by using iterator only we can read and we can delete it but we can't perform of addition and addition or modifications if you want to add a new element, if you want to modify of existing element, that is not possible in case of iterator. In case of iterator, that is not possible. Okay. That and to overcome these limitations about things, list iterator is introduced. Some people are introduced list iterator concept. Okay. Now let's go and see of list iterator. List iterator is a child interface. Now let's go to list iterator demo. Now, okay, not this link list list iterator. Yes, list iterator. This is only link list. So I have some data. Okay, list iterator. This is a child interface. It is extending of iterator. Okay, list iterator is a child interface of iterator. It has its own some extra methods it has has previous previous next index okay previous index remove so there are some alarm in case of iterator we have next and remove next and has next is for identification next is for getting the value remove is for getting of 
removing of that element apart from this there is nothing but in case of listed traitor we have extra things this we have seen this we have seen and remove also we have seen but not for has previous previous mm, previous index and next index these methods are newly introduced in newly introduced in list iterator interface if you want to get the previous value or next value like that index value if you want to get off that then by using of list iterator only we can do the we can traverse the data in forward direction as well as in the reverse direction both ways we can do that now let's go to list iterator is a child interface of iterator that we have seen by using list iterator we can move either forward direction or backward direction that will call it as a bi-directional cursor so it will call it as a bi-directional cursor now while iterating while iterating the data by using list iterator we can perform replacement addition of new objects in addition to a read and removal along with read and removal we can add off new objects as well as modifications also we can do that now let's see that the methods that we have seen here as next we know next we know next index if you want to identify it will give off the index has previous if you want to get a previous value you can use of previous previous value previous and previous value index value all those things previous index also we can get that okay now let's go and see of some example list iterator demo yeah so i have created one linked list object i have added of three data some five data is added okay now i called off listed list dot list it <coughs> sorry list dot list iterator till now we have discussed elements and iterator now we are going to discuss of list iterator it will return list iterator object okay on this list iterator object we can call off multiple methods this will give off whether list iterator contains data or not if it is there next element will give data next element it will give off data now what i am doing if yes dot it is of giving some names right yes dot equals of venki then remove that then remove that what is the previous for that what is the previous value of that and what is the previous index both i want to know that if it is a ram charan is there then change that value to ram that means modification we are doing so if it is nog is identified change that value to add one more is nog arjuna okay let's off these are the methods that we are added along with that if it is having reverse order if you want to in reverse order if you want to get the data has previous okay has previous in case of others has next is there in case of reverse order has previous now let's go and see that see first one if venki is identified venki is identified then it is deleting that it is deleting that what is the previous index what is the previous value of that it is of nagarjuna why it is naga is nagarjuna means we are doing of before going to remove venki is in the last position so before that naga is identified after naga is identified i am adding of one value nagarjuna that value is it is giving a previous value okay now what is the index what is the previous index what is the previous index of that 0 1 2 3 whatever that is there it will give off that previous index value okay now next this is of index next reverse is it is of has previous this one okay the reverse order data is it is giving in the reverse order okay nagarjuna was last that's why nagarjuna nag ram junior entier and mahesh babu this is giving data in reverse order okay but because of but if you are using iterator only forward direction only forward direction let's 
if you want this one has next has a next so this will give in the only in the forward direction forward direction this will give in forward direction this will give in a reverse direction okay now let's both is possible in case of one second something is missed two things it is see reverse direction okay this of reverse direction and where is the forward direction instead of this is in the reverse direction forward direction let's take it off uh, this side here let's take it off this uh, list iterator iterator has next this one we have done already we have done this one what happened to this reverse direction has next okay already this one is done let's keep this uh, in top <coughs> now this iterations i don't want to modify any data okay now let's uh, this is a forward direction. What happened? Yes, yeah. Now see forward direction data as well as reverse forward direction. Mahesh, Junior, and Ramjara, Naga, and Venki is coming. In the reverse direction, it is giving off Venki, Naga, and Ramcharan, Junior, and Mahesh. In the reverse order, it is giving. So both is possible in case of a list iterator. Both is possible in case of a list iterator okay that's what is of list iterator guys next is set next is set this will discuss in tomorrow's class guys okay set interface we will discuss what are the implemented class all those things that we'll discuss in tomorrow's class okay that's what for today's class guys just let me ask me i can reverse i can repeat it again now if anything is not clear you can ask me guys else we can wind up the class today we'll meet tomorrow okay thank you guys we'll meet tomorrow bye